pattern recognition is using machine learning to interpret patterns from many different muscles in, in say the arm or the forearm of a person and map that directly to the control of the robotic device. And it turns out it works. Oh, wow. So you might not be able to be able to play the piano, but using the signals in the upper limb, you, people can train to be able to get more modes or functions out of their prosthesis. And there's one step farther, which is really cool, and something we've, we've worked on here at the University of Alberta, but is becoming more widespread globally. Why don't we surgically go into the human body and change how the nerves from the brain flow to the muscles and take all of those nerves that would have gone to the amputated limb and start reconnecting them to the muscles and the skin of the residual limb. Okay. Wow. It totally works. It's called targeted re -innervation. And after four to six months, the nerves start to regrow into the, the muscles of the arm or into the skin. And so when a person thinks about closing the hand they no longer have, actual muscles in their arm contract. You can measure the electricity at the skin of those contractions and machine learning can translate that into control signals for a robotic device. 